praises of Almighty Allah, the one who unites whomsoever he wills and separates whomsoever he wills, the one who brings two individuals, a man and a woman, in marriage and allows them to grow their love on a daily basis and blesses them with the children that become the solace of their parents' eyes. But it is he who also allows, when the marriage is not working, for the man and woman to separate in a respectful way, in a cordial way, and to move on with their lives without causing harm to the other party. This refers to the divorce, the talaq, it is unfortunate <coughs> that within the Muslim community, talaq, divorce has increased to such a high level that nearly every second marriage is ending in a divorce. Like the statistics show, one in two marriages end in a divorce. As a Muslim, you must understand why you are getting married what your rights are, what your spouse's rights are, what your parents' rights are, what the in-laws' rights are. If you are equipped in understanding that, if you meet the requirements, you and your potential spouse, then there is a high chance of this marriage succeeding. But if that is not the case, then unfortunately, like we see in our communities, divorce upon divorce will take place. But what we find is that when it comes to divorce, firstly, some people think that the divorce is such that it should never ever take place. And this is a misconception. <laughs> In reality, if the marriage is not working, you end it respectfully and you move on. This we find at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Whenever it wouldn't work, they would end the marriage and then move on, both parties. Nobody would look down that they are divorcees. Who's going to marry the divorcee? No, it doesn't matter. If it didn't work, you move on. If it doesn't work again, no worries, you move on. And ultimately, hopefully, you get into that marriage which does work and last till the end. But when it comes to the divorce, our people think that I must immediately give three divorces to separate from my wife. Or I must give one divorce each month for three months and then I am out of the marriage. These are misconceptions, misunderstandings of the community. Firstly, I want us to understand what the Prophet ﷺ said about divorce. In the hadith mentioned in Sunan Abi Dawood, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Abdabu al halali ila Allahi talaq. From all of the matters which are permitted, permissible, allowed in Islam, the most hated thing in the sight of Almighty Allah is divorce. Divorce. However, it is permitted. And when there's a valid reason, then one must go down that path of the divorce. But when divorce takes place, then we must understand how it must be done. The Quran mentions At-Talaqu Marratan. In Surah Al-Baqarah, the second chapter of the Quran, in verse 228, At-Talaqu Marratan. The talaq is given up to two times. When a person gives talaq two times, after that, he has a choice. Either you patch things up and you live cordially, or you let go of the spouse honorably in a good way and move on. A husband is allowed to give the divorce to his wife if there's a valid reason, when he has given that divorce, within the Idda period, Idda period refers to 
when a woman is in her menses a husband should not give her a divorce it is a sin but when she is not in her menses she is in the tohar period the non-menstruation period then the husband if the situation is such that the divorce must be given the husband is allowed to give the divorce to the wife once he gives the divorce to the wife then as soon as one menstruation period has gone by then the second one has gone by and then the third one has gone by three menses the woman will be out of the marriage this three <laughs> menstruation periods is known as the idda <coughs> when the idda passes the wife will be out of the marriage but all the husband needs to do to end the marriage is he gives one divorce to the wife one not two not three one divorce to the wife in that time where she's not in her menses and husband and wife have not slept together meaning had husband wife relation intercourse in that time a divorce is to be given and then if they don't patch things up within the idda period then she will be out of the marriage the marriage will end by only giving one talaq not two or three because people are giving three straight away rather one now let's say the one is given and they patch things up the same night the next day a week later within the idda period what will happen is they will remain as husband and wife however that one talaq that has been given has gone forever you only have two left now for the rest of the entire marriage but now let's say the second one is given a year later and they patch things up within the idda period again two have gone forever now the husband only has one divorce and once he gives a third divorce then it's game over then the marriage has come to an end even if he wants to patch things up with her he cannot they must move on and they cannot come back together unless like the Quran mentions in verse 229 of Surah Al-Baqarah فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ حَتَّى تَنْكِحَ زَوْجًا غَيْرًا Until that woman naturally goes out after the Idda period and marries somebody else and naturally that marriage comes to an end or the husband passes away, she becomes a widow and so on and so forth and after the Idda period then if she wants to come back into marriage with the first husband she is allowed to do so this is known as halala but this must happen naturally not by planning not by a business which is taking place nowadays <coughs> where people go and they pay someone and then he gets married to the wife meaning that woman who's been divorced now three times and then he divorces her and then after idda period she comes back this is haram in islam and the person will go to the hellfire for such a thing they say why three divorces are given for a reason in reality a husband only ever needs to use one no more than that but now once three have been given then you move on with your life it's too late now but before that when you take your spouse back within the idda period it does not mean that now you've taken the talaq back and now you have three more talaqs each time another misconception unfortunately and then people realize oh hold on i've given my wife a hundred talaqs because they used to think each time you take her back you're taking all those talaqs back it doesn't work like that that bullet has left the gun it's gone that damage is done you can't take that bullet back anymore but remember there's two types of talaq well the three talaq raj'i talaq ba'in talaq mughallada <coughs> we have one type of talaq known as talaq raj'i which is that where husband uses clear words of divorce to the wife 
So the husband says to the wife that he gives her a divorce or he gives her one divorce or he gives her one talaq raj'i. That talaq is such that one will be enforced. But if he says two, then two will be enforced. If he says three, then three will be enforced. But that talaq raj'i is such that because he used clear words that he gives one talaq or he gives talaq to his wife, within the idda period, they are able to patch things up and come back together as long as three haven't been given. But the same principle will apply. That if one has gone, then one has gone forever. If two have been given, two have been given forever. But then we have something known as talaq ba'in. Where a person doesn't use clear words. Sarih doesn't use clear words. But rather uses ambiguous words. Such as you are free. Get out of here. Get lost. In Urdu, tu azade. You're emancipated. Tu farighe. These sort of words in all different languages you'll see being used. When this word gets used, not a clear word of Allah, but these sort of words, get lost, get out, and so on and so forth. You're free, I've got nothing to do with you, etc. And the husband intends to give a divorce with those words. When he said it, go back to your parents. And he meant divorce. The divorce will take place. But what type of divorce will take place? This is the thing. Talaq ba'in. Talaq ba'in is such that immediately the nikah, the marriage is broken. There's no taking her back. It's broken. Immediately. So even a few minutes later, they try to patch things up. Now they need to go and do a new nikah, new marriage. If the husband intended two divorces, by that, again, same will be applied to. The husband will be asked, what was your intention when you said those words? This is why talaq ba'in is something which is very dangerous. And if a person uses talaq ba'in, ambiguous words, and also uses clear words, then what will happen, that will count as two. Likewise, the husband uses a clear word and then also talaq ba'in. That will count as two. They connect, they join. And then we got talaq mughallada, which is a person committing a major sin and acting upon a bid'ah, which is giving three divorces at one time. One day the Prophet ﷺ was informed about a man who gave his wife three divorces at once. Sayyidina Mahmud ibn Labid radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he states, this hadith is mentioned in Sunan al Nasai, Ukhbira Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an rajul, talaka imrata imraatahu, thalatha tatliqat in jami'an, faqama gadbanan, thumma qal, ayyul abu bi kitabillahi wa ana bayna ahurikum. One day the Prophet ﷺ was informed about a man who gave three divorces to his wife. The Prophet ﷺ was sitting when he heard this. All of a sudden he stood up full of anger and said, You are playing with the book of Almighty Allah, meaning the command that Allah has given whilst I am between you, meaning whilst I am amongst you, you are still messing about with the Sharia. When Islam has told you only give one divorce, you've given three divorces. Anger came upon. Radhaban. He was angry when three divorces were given. This is talaq mughallaba. The marriage will automatically end. And husband and wife cannot come back together. New marriage cannot be done between them. <coughs> Until, like I mentioned, the halala naturally <coughs> She gets married to somebody else. Naturally, that comes to an end. And then after the idda, they come back together in a new marriage. These rules of talaq, many people later in life, they realize 
that throughout their marriage, they end up giving their wife many divorces. And they've spent all that time, unfortunately, not married. <coughs> and then they realize, 20 years were spent without being in marriage, because divorce was given in reality. This knowledge is not something which is optional. Any person that wants to get married, which is the age of puberty, this is far, far knowledge, compulsory. Any person who doesn't know this, who's married, is sinful every single day. Because the way we must know the rights of the husband and wife and parents and in-laws when a person gets married, likewise the laws of divorce automatically come. And a person must know them as to what's allowed, what's not allowed, how to do it, how not to do it. This is something which Iblis takes opportunity of and tries to split up couples. The hadith mentioned in Sahih Muslim, Inna Iblis yada'u abshahu ala al Iblis, he places his throne on the ocean in the morning. He gathers all of the evil jinns, the shayateen. <coughs> and then he asks them, What have you done today? Each one will come and say, Fa'altu kada wa kada. I did such and such thing. I made such a person go and smoke. I made such a person go and engage in interest. I made such a person go and commit zina. I made such a person go and disobey his parents. I made such a person go and commit murder. Each time the person will come, <coughs> the evil jinn, the shaitan, saying that he's made people cause this fitna in community, in the community, what will Iblis say? <coughs> he will say, Ma sana'ta shaitan. You haven't done anything. This is nothing. They will keep one after another, one after another. They will come with his heinous crimes that were committed. But his reply will be the same. Ma sana'ta shay'an. He haven't done anything. What is this? Nothing. Until one comes. And he says, Ma taraktu hatta farraktu baynahu wa baynam ra'atihi. One shaytan will come and he will say that I did not leave the man alone until I caused him to separate from his wife. Meaning, give her a divorce. <coughs> what will Iblis say? What will Iblis say to this person? Iblis will engage, rather he will embrace and hug that shaitan and will say to him, Ni'ma anta, you have done good. When a talaq takes place, a divorce, Iblis becomes excited and happy. Because it is from the worst things of the society. May Almighty Allah protect all of those that are married. Amen. All of those that are getting married. May Almighty Allah give them the knowledge about this. Amen. There are so many aspects. This is a massive chapter of fiqh. Talaq. Allah protect all of the Muslims Amen. from such a thing.